Hi, in this tutorial I'll walk you through how to get Debian Spark to run on the Kimu emulator. Uh, we will be using Windows as our host, so basically Kimu will be running in Windows and the Debian virtual machine will, will be running in Kimu. So why would you want to run Debian Spark? Spark is a big Indian architecture. Uh, basically there's big Indian and little Indian and most of today's PCs are little Indian so sometimes you want to write code and you want to test it if it works on both both architectures so this is my reason at least for installing Debian Spark so the first thing you need is to get Kimo on Windows so you're gonna go to that URL right there uh, uh, by the way, I'm going to put all these URLs in the video description. So don't don't worry if you can't make it out exactly. So uh, download this Kimu. Well, now it's version 13. Maybe it might be higher when you get to it. Kimu 13 Windows Medium. Just We are just going to save that on our desktop. So our download is completed. Just go to wherever you saved it. Unzip. You can use WinZip or whichever program you use. Extract. Right. So now what you want to do is you wanna find the uh, the folder with all the files in it. So this one here just going to rename this to Kimu just just for simplicity's sake and then uh, I'm going to copy uh, I'm going to copy again sorry copy then I'm going to go to uh, my program files And I'm going to paste it in here. Now, if you're on, if you're on Vista or Windows 7, you have to confirm. Just continue. Now, uh, this step might not be entirely necessary, but let's just, for the sake of uh, simplicity here. Okay, so we've done that. Now we have Kimu in our program files next thing we need to get is a Kimu image so luckily the people have already created Debian Spark Kimu images for us so basically this is Kimu already installed I mean sorry I mean Debian Spark already installed in a, a in a virtual hard drive so we're gonna get this small one here you can get the big one. The big one has has a, a desktop GUI, so I think it has X. The small one is just command line. Uh, and by the way, I couldn't get the big one to work. Uh, the X system won't work for me. Maybe maybe it might work for you, so you can try that. Anyway, we're gonna get the small. Just download that desktop again, and wait for it to finish downloading. Right, so after it's finished, this is uh, the file. Just uh, copy or cut it, and go back to your to your program files. Go back to that Kimu Kimu folder, paste it in here. Again, this is mostly for simplicity's sake, just to keep the path short and easy. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So, okay, we have the the hard drive image and we have Kimo. So, go to your command prompt to to get to the command prompt in Windows. Just go to start, type cmd. If you're in Vista or Windows 7, right click and then choose Run as Administrator. To make sure you get administrative privileges. In XP, just 
just run it normally right so what you want to do is want to get to this directory here program files kimu the one where we put all our files in so i'm just gonna go cd slash this takes me down to to the c drive i'm just, just gonna do cd program files but as soon as you type uh, enough words to make it a unique path you can just press tab so prog tab program files enter then cd kimu enter and now we are in the kimu directory we are in, we are in here basically you can do a dir to list all the files inside now uh, something interesting here what you're supposed to do now is take this command over here F this is from the same website where we got our, key, uh, our Debian image take this one because we downloaded the small the small image if you if you got the, the big image use the other command just gonna go copy I click copy and uh, right click over here and then paste and press enter and you will see that nothing happens now this is a little peculiar so what I found out is you, you get this text file here with the error standard error could not load open BIOS blah, blah, blah. so what I did here went into this BIOS folder copied this file here right click copy and then went back out paste it in there and then you have to confirm if you're in Vista or oh, Windows 7 okay so now hopefully that should work press the up, up arrow to bring up the same command again press enter and key move stands to, to run so your, your hard drive image is now booting and this will, will take a while especially the first time so let's just wait okay so at long last we arrive at the login prompt now uh, the usernames and password are given over here so the root password is root and there is a user account called user and the password is user I'm going to log in as root so I'm just going to type root for both root user and root password this is fine since this is not really a production system it's just I'm just going to try and compile some big Indian code on it anyway okay so we just logged in so what we want to do now is edit uh, the sources list to make sure that we can get we can get uh, packages oh, oh by the way uh, up to now this is it basically uh, so your Debian is is running and the next time you, you start it will it will go much quicker and you can you can use it for whatever but for my purposes at least I want to install the GCC compiler so I can compile C code so to do that we need to first edit the the sources list because this is Debian Etchy and Debian Etchy is no longer no longer supported so these uh, these uh, repositories uh, do, really don't lead anywhere so you have to change those to, to the archive repositories and by the way Debian H, I believe, is named after this character here in Toy Story, so that's kind of interesting. Right, so what we want to do is we want to edit that file and basically remove this stuff and put in this stuff. By the way, these are all single lines just they're uh, getting word wrapped here so now 
you, you can you can use whichever Linux text editor you like. I I use nano here. That's why I'm just exit again. The command nano etc. apt sources that list. So it's gonna edit that file. Okay. So unfortunately, there's no way to copy and paste into this uh, virtual environment. So you just have to basically you have to type it all out. So write all that in in there so let me just do that i'll pause for a second uh, and by the way i'll put this up in the video description too and on the website so you can grab that all oh, right uh, so i i remember this cool trick what you can do is once you've typed the first line you'll notice that the other lines are kind of similar so you can basically copy and paste it uh, two more times so what you want to do is go to the end of the line uh, go press control and a sorry i'm not in the window so control and a and then you want to press alt and 6 alt key and 6 this will copy that that first line into the buffer and now you can go control u to paste so paste like that two times and then you can just make the the modifications also another thing you'll notice that once you click inside this window your mouse gets trapped the uh, the virtual machine grabs your mouse so to to release your mouse press control and alt together and you'll notice it says so right at the top of the window there press control alt to exit mouse grab so control alt and i'm out okay so i believe that's it just double check because it's kind of important that everything is correct okay so to save press ctrl x you'll see that at the extraction there ctrl x to exit and it will ask you do you save modified yes push s and then the same file name exact just press enter so now we have changed uh, the so repository sources now what you want to do is apt get update now this will update uh, basically the packages list on on your machine another thing to note here is uh, that Kimu comes with networking out of the hey, I wanna say it comes with networking out of the box and the networking is failing me ok just try that again right so there we go just didn't work the first time so it's updating the pa uh, the package list yeah I was saying Kimo comes with networking out of the box uh, sim some sort of simplified networking uh, this was a huge confusion for me since this networking doesn't allow ping so I was testing the connection using ping but ping doesn't work so just know that ping, ping won't work but there is an internet connection okay so I'm just gonna let that finish okay so that's done you see a bunch of errors probably just like me uh, they didn't do anything to me to, to my installation so yeah so now actually you want to install the you want to install the compiler and all all the things that are necessary to to write code so to, to do that you that's a command right there apt get install build essential so apt get install build essential right so again we're just gonna wait for this to finish All right a few prompts here just agree if you get any prompts just agree yes uh, I got a prompt here just type Y and enter let it finish <laughs> 